हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बेसिक्स ऑफ ए सिक्स एंड टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट फिलर सेल्स इन वी एल एस आई सो आई एम श्योर यू हैव केम अक्रॉस दिस टर्म वेल वर्किंग एज अ डिज़ाइन इंजीनियर और इन योर थ्योरी लेक्चर्स सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड टुडे वॉट फिलर सेल्स आर वॉट इज फिलर सेल it is physical only cell that means it is not defined anywhere in the net list and can be added any time in the layout non functional cell that means it has no functionality to perform and it comes in various widths and sizes this is how the filler cell looks like it has a pmos and a nmos where the gate of a nmos is connected to the drain of a pmos and a gate of pmos is connected to the drain of nmos and this is how the layout of filler cell looks like where this red color one is the poly and this is vdd and ground and this is nvel so the question is why do we need this filler cell which has no input no output and has no functionality to perform let's understand let's assume this is the design which has completed the placement and this is how the placement of standard cell looks like there are some gaps in between the standard cell placement where the gray color one is the end cap cell the red colored one are the well tap cells placed at certain distances in the design these are the standard cells and these are some d cap cells why do we have this gap what happens if all the standard cells in the designs are abutted then we will end up with lot of congestion routing and timing issues and that's the reason why we have a utilization around 60 to 70% in the design now to fill these white spaces in the design filler cells comes to rescue and that's the one reason why we need the filler cell in the design to fill the standard cell spacing after routing and that's how the design looks when the filler cells are inserted the design is fully utilized with no empty spaces but the question is why can't we keep these white spaces empty why this is even required to fill these white spaces the answer is to maintain minimum spacing drc violation of nvel and why we need to maintain this nvel minimum spacing violation is because of something called well proximity effect so what is well proximity effect when nmos or a pmos which are close to the edge of a well they experience a difference in the threshold voltage from the transistor which are placed far from the edge so in a very simple terms we can say that the increase of vt due to the proximity of a well to the transistor is well proximity effect and that gives us the second reason to have a filler cell in the design to maintain a minimum spacing violation so now the question is what if we place the standard cells with the spacing greater than the minimum required distance yes we can do that but with that we will also end up with some other issue and that is some of the standard cell in the design will not have well tap connectivity like this standard cell will not be connected to well tap and we know that this can cause the latch up issues in the design also if we add the well tap for each standard cell separately it will cost us more area and to fix this we need a continuity between nvel and the implant layer and that gives us the third reason to have a filler cell in the design and that is to maintain the continuity between nvel and the implant layer this also another reason why we want this continuity is that with continuous nvel it will be easier for the foundry people to create mask in the fabrication process and for the better reliability and base drc mitigation for example let's say this is one of the standard cell and the layout of this looks like this and there's another standard cell now since there is no cell sitting there will be a gap in between the two and this nvel will not be connected to any well tap now if the design is filled with the filler cells the filler cell will come and sit here and this nvel will be continuous and finally this nvel will get tapped to this well tap and this well tap so this is how the continuity between nvel and the implant layer will be maintained with the help of a filler cell moving forward if we stretch this vdd to this vdd and this ground to this filler cell ground and continue to do same 
we will have a continuous rail of vdd and ground in the design and this gives us the another reason uh, for having the filler cell and that is for the power rail continuity to make sure that each cell gets power and the ground connection all the cells are abutted together so that the vdd and vss rails are continued to shore together this makes it possible to tap power only at one point anywhere in the room but now in the current designs the power grids are designed in such a way that there is already a continuous power and ground rails and we are not dependent on filler cell for this purpose anymore so this is mostly used in the older designs where the power grids were not providing the continuous connections moving forward when to add the filler cell in the design after the placement and routing is completed how to add these filler cells in the designs always in the descending order what if we have the filler cell of one width and repeat them in the design why do we need multiple widths of filler cell basically because if we place continuous low width filler cell it will form a wide metal and create a metal slotting rule violation which is a manufacturing issue so to avoid any metal slotting rule violation we have to always insert a fat filler cells and then thin filler cells that is in their descending order can we add spare cells instead of filler cells no because of the power consumption and the size issues also the spare cells has other functionality in the design and cannot be compared with the filler cells is the filler cell is same as the decap cells no some of the filler cells have caps in them for decoupling but decaps are quite different from the filler cells and they are used to reduce ir drop in the design can we delete the filler cells once added yes we generally do that at the time of ecos we first delete the filler cells and utilize the empty spaces for setup hold fixing and then add them again the cadence command to add these filler cells first we need to set the filler cells and to set the filler cell the command is set db add filler cells and the list of filler cell then we can add the filler cell by using the command add fillers followed by some switches as per the design requirement like check drc true fill gap and the prefix prefix is required because if we want to delete the filler cells later in the design we can use this prefix to delete the filler cell delete fillers hyphen prefix the prefix which is filler here and to check the filler cell we command is check filler it will check for the locations that has missing filler cells and then generates the detailed report that's it on filler cells from my side if you guys have any suggestion or doubts please let me know in the comment box below thank you